Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog, and I just wanted to take a short time here uh, in, the, in today's vlog to answer a subscriber question. I had a gentleman ask me on uh, one of my videos recently, um, he wanted me to explain more um, about um, the chair pose position, which is one of the core um, exercises that I do um, that I th really think helps me with my cycling. He wanted me to kind of explain this more or demonstrate this, um, so I am going to... Um, demonstrate this pose for you guys. I'm going to put the clip in right about now and uh, pretty much all a chair pose is is basically you are simulating sitting in a chair but there's no chair. So you're basically just getting into a into a position, putting your body into a position as though you are sitting down in a chair but there's no chair. So you're having to hold yourself up and this is a very good core exercise and it's a really good way to build core strength. And the way I've been the way I've been doing this exercise, I think I've told you guys in past videos, but I just wanted to kind of rehash this since maybe I didn't make it perfectly clear in the last video, couple of videos. But what I'm doing here on this hold is I do this twice a week. Okay, I do it twice a week and give myself a couple of days of rest in between the days I do it. And every every time I do this hold, I try to extend the hold for five seconds. And actually, um, I did this last night, actually, and I'm now up to three minutes and 30 seconds on this hold. So the next time I do this, which will be a couple of days from now or three days from now, I will try to do, I will do the hold for three minutes and 35 seconds. And the next time will be 340. And then three minutes and 45 seconds. And I just kind of slowly build up and I, this is a great core exercise. I, like I said, it's, I think it helps my cycling tremendously, honestly. And when I first started doing this exercise, I could barely hold, you know, honestly, I don't think I was even holding 45 seconds. I was like 30 seconds when I first started out doing this. And just over time, gradually doing it twice a week, just gradually building up the time holds, I'm now doing it for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And I've noticed... I've noticed a big difference in my core strength. I, I also do the plank position hold. I do that one also twice a week, which is basically just, you know, the plank position, you know, where you're pretty much lying on the floor and you're holding yourself up on your on your forearms and you get your back straight. You're just doing a plank position. And I can hold, and I'm now holding that position for four minutes and 30 seconds. And again, next time I will do that, I will hold it for 435 and so on and so forth, and just keep upping the ante every every time I do it. And again, both of these exercises combined are really helping my core strength. So uh, the gentleman asked me if I could demonstrate that uh, a little better. So I thought maybe that was a question that it, maybe that uh, a couple of more of you guys would be interested in seeing this. So I wanted to make this short video for you guys, just showing you what this hold is. Um, if you haven't done it before, give it a, give it a shot, and uh, I think you'll find that it's very challenging. To do this as, as well as the uh, the plank position they're very challenging holds and and that's all I do as far as off the bike training um, I don't do any weights anymore don't do anything else all I simply do is these two uh, core exercises twice a week and of course I do my cycling training so just wanted to make this short video for you guys kind of highlighting that for you again guys I appreciate all the support in the channel and I look forward to seeing you guys right back here in the next video